It's 1060, right? 1060 on the dial. On the AM dial. Right. Welcome back. Thanks. You're single yourself. We've talked a little bit about that. Where do you go to meet people? I, 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 I'm really not the type that goes clubbing. I can't stand clubs. I can't stand bars. I really meet people through uh, people that I meet through uh, regular activities. If I'm going to play sports somewhere or something like that, that's really the. I think that <clears throat> people always say to me, "How do you meet people? Where should you meet people?" My my uh, personal opinion is that you should do something you enjoy doing, whether it's skiing, whether it's sports, whether it's reading, whatever. If you're doing something you like doing, and you meet someone there, then you have something in common, and you can begin to talk about something that you have in common. And it's a lot better than going to a bar where all you can talk about is the drinks you're drinking or, you know, things like that. Yeah, in a stupor half the time anyway. Yeah, exactly. Do you think it's a good idea for friends to fix people up with, with their own friends and sort of keep it within a network that way? Yeah, well, the networking is the best way to meet people. The more people you know, the more people they know, and it, it grows. Uh, unfortunately, uh, fix-up dates have a 3% rate of success. Is that right? That's a proven statistic, huh? 3%. Uh, but if you have enough of them, uh, 33 of them, one of them might work. Yeah, so, yeah that's right. Yeah, I just think that even... Uh, even if it's not that great a success rate, that it's a good idea to get out and go out on dates. And uh, even if it's with the wrong people, at least you're learning uh, what you don't want and things like that. Sometimes you read about or hear about those, those vacation plans where you can go and have a really wild and crazy time with swinging singles. I went to the Concord Resort Hotel you did? for a uh, week. And the uh, place is insane. It was 2,500 single people in one place. Looking for what? Looking for... Mostly sex because that's all. The, they were people from all over the country there, and uh, it was insane. Was uh, it fun? I didn't like it. I, I, I retreated to my room. Although I did play in the dating game they had there, and I won. I won a free trip there. They had a dating game. They had a dating game, and I and I won. But uh, I just it was just a very strange experience. Uh, all those people, all looking for one thing, and you get looked up and down. I have, the women were dressed to the T. The men were all dressed in suits, and everybody was on ears. No one was themselves. Very that's, that's what I didn't like. You know. You know, the dating game, you mentioned that was a really hot show. I used to love the dating yeah. game. Yeah. Do you think that something like that could come back and be as popular today, or have we gone beyond that now when it comes to no, we've dating? We've gone beyond that. We're, we are looking for singles lifeline type shows now on TV, oh, which I, is a possibility. I hear a plug coming in here. I hear a no, plug. I, it's, it's a possibility of, of uh, being in the works right now. Taking it from radio and putting, putting it on, it on television, TV, yeah. you think it would work yeah. again, huh? I'll be wearing a mask so it will be acceptable to viewers, but I just uh, I just think it's a, it's a good idea to, to expand, and I don't think the dating game right now would be work too well. There's another show on uh, another station in Boston uh, that's about dating, and it's terrible. It's, it's sort of similar to the dating game? No, it's much worse. It's worse <laughs> it's than the dating game? It's real bad. Game. I don't know. I want to say the name of it, uh, but it's real bad. I don't want to give it a plug. You're planning a trip to Florida, is that correct? Yeah. In November. Uh, in fact, we'll be doing it every two months. We're going to do trips to November for weekends and also weeks and instead of just a trip to get on there where you don't know anybody this will be intensive training workshops in relationships in massage and different things to get people to touch each other and to meet each other and uh, it'll be really good we're also gonna have a full-time person there who runs a dating service in florida fixing up people who are there so it will be different from this 2500 yeah, person yeah. extravaganza it'll that be you more went a to. personal type thing and when you get there you'll get a name badge and you have to walk around hello oh, my name is mark my name. but <laughs> and people go hey who cares but uh uh, it'll be a little bit more interesting than most of the ones that have been planned before. Do you ever have people, ever have people come to you and get violent with you because of what you do with the Singles Lifeline? Did they ever get really mad because something no. just didn't work out through no. the show? No. no one's ever got mad at me for that, you know, for other reasons, for sure. For other reasons, but, but uh, no, people uh, like what I'm doing. I get a lot of good positive mail and a lot of good positive phone calls uh, because there's no one else really doing what I'm doing, mm -hmm. you know? Do you hear from mostly women as they get older? Who are looking and who are single again, or or men? I mean, you get over over the age of, of 45. I have probably 70 percent women. Over uh, under the age of 30, I have probably uh, more men. What about women? Older women dating younger men? Is that ever an issue that comes up over the years? We did a show on that. In fact, we had an author who wrote that book, uh, Older Women, Younger Men, and uh, we have a lot of women who are dating younger men. Uh, people in their 40s who are dating men in their young uh, low 30s, mm -hmm. things like that. I think it's a good thing to do. Because biologically, it actually fits better. Women, uh, their peak is at an older age. Is it poo-pooed, though, still? I mean, you oftentimes see older men with younger women, and that's just mm -hmm. fine and dandy. Mm -hmm. But you have an older woman with a younger guy, and a little, an eyebrows get raised. Social wars are changing a little bit, I think. I think people are becoming more aware of it uh, because of recent marriages like Mary Tyler Moore's and things like that, that people know now that it's socially acceptable to marry younger people. And that's OK. Do you ever want to get married? Do you uh, see yourself being single forever? I really do, but I, I guess, you know, if the, if the right person came and said the right things and did the right things that I probably would. I'm very, very picky. I just, uh, I want a woman that has a tremendous sense of humor and very quick wit and intelligent and, you know, attractive. And, and uh, there's not that many people that have all those things. And uh, Should well, there be, though? I, probably the, I don't want the perfect woman. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of defects, but I just, 
you know, I, I just, I'm fussy, and uh, I'd rather be alone than be with someone I don't like to be with. That's interesting, because I know I have a lot of single women friends who say the same types of things that you just can't find, as your mother said about men mm -hmm. who even her age, yeah. you can't find good men. Do you hear that from single women who call yeah. up? I also find the same thing from the men. Yeah, it works they tell me, You know, men, the biggest complaint men have is they think that the women, all they want is their wallets. You're kidding. No, it's a big complaint. With women working now and holding their own yeah. and doing all kinds the of wonderful things. The men things. seem to think that when they go to a dance or a party, that the women are more concerned about what they do for a living than about what's inside their heads. And I get a lot of complaints about that from men. Do you, do you try to set them straight, that that's probably well, not women are looking for? I mean, uh, you can't set them straight. I mean, if they're running into it, they're running into it. You know? What do we hear from women? What are the most complaints that you hear from women about men? That men just want one thing. That's the old saying. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but uh, that's what they say. Just sex? Yeah. Period. Yeah, they don't want a commitment. I guess the women complain that the men don't open up, but I noticed that uh, the people can call me and tell me that when they open up, the women don't like when they're being uh, opened up. So when, they, when they've been themselves, you can't win either way. It's a so. scary thing. It is. It's, it's being single can be scary. Of course, being married can too. Are we puritanical? Do you think here in the New England area and in Boston, home of the Puritans, and where they, where it all began with the Mayflower, still? Compared to some places yeah. like L.A. and New York, we're definitely conservative, very we're conservative. Pretty part. uptight about talking about even romance and love yeah, and yeah. sex. I think so. Yeah. But I, I, it's loosening up a little bit. Uh, it's becoming socially acceptable to talk about these things now. Okay. You know? What's your telephone number that we want to give? Okay. If anybody would like to call and uh, either get screened to appear on the Dating on the Air or just have any questions answered, my number is 961-5565. And that's our... Randolph number. You say that so well. You said that with a trained radio voice. Do it again one more time. 961 yes. 5565. Mark, thank you so much for being with us this, <laughs> this evening on the program. It's been really nice. It's been, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, you're a very good interviewer, and uh, TV 38 is what's brewing. Oh, boy. That's an old one. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good though. one, though. Oldie but goodie. Yeah. Mark Snyder, Singles Lifeline, WTTP AM Radio 1060 on your dial. He hosts a show called Singles Lifeline. If you're interested, you can give him a call at 961 5565 if you're interested in further information about the show, just about being single and what some of the issues are. And you publish the newsletter as well. And we also uh, write a column that's right now in 16 newspapers. Okay, syndicated throughout the Boston and New England mm -hmm. area. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Very nice. That's the program for this evening, for this weekend. I'll see you next weekend at this very same time, or these very same times if you choose to watch on a Saturday morning or Sunday evening. I'm Allison McCann for WSBK TV and Exchange, the entire staff and crew. Good evening and have a nice, safe weekend. The views and opinions expressed on exchange are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of WSBK-TV and or the Storer Communications Company. Exchange was pre-recorded.